Linda Lusardi has demanded £500 fines for selfish partygoers who are risking lives by breaking social distancing guidelines. The former glamour model, 61, was admitted to hospital and ended up in intensive care before she eventually started to recover. She's now given candid interview about what it was like being struck down with COVID-19, and addressed reports of Manchester police having to break up number of parties over the weekend. Linda branded the revelers selfish and urged officials to bring in heavier fines for rule, breakers with all the money going to the NHS. Speaking to Sky News, she explained, those selfish people having parties, think give them blanket fine that goes to the NHS, give them £500 fine each when they're not keeping to the rules. The more people go out, the more people have parties and think let's play football, we're not going to get it. Every time they go out there prolonging the lockdown and prolonging the virus staying in this country. Don't give them criminal record, hit them where it hurts and find them. 500 pounds or go to their house and take something worth 500 pounds and that should go straight to the NHS. Her during the interview, Linda revealed her coronavirus symptoms were initially mistaken for tummy bug as she was vomiting blue liquid. Both she and her husband Sam Kane had diarrhea and sickness and medics initially thought they'd come down with gastroenteritis. She said, We didn't really recognize the symptoms because they were not typical of what had been put out there. My husband and both had diarrhea and sickness. Which wasn't one of the symptoms we were told about. We were told about the dry cough and the fever. We got the fever as well. Caught it from him about three of four days afterwards and we both deteriorated so badly. He had days when he was going up and down, but took nosedive really until really couldn't breathe. I was vomiting lot, which was really strange because it was blue. Blue was coming up from my lungs. And lying on my front with bucket feeling like was drifting away. Sam was released after three days in hospital. While Linda was left left fighting for her life, she eventually started to recover and was discharged after ten days under the care of doctors.